Well, you know, I provide a service here on YouTube. I make videos. I have fun making these videos. This is something I do as a hobby. But I got to say, it's nice when you get a little bit extra out of the deal every once in a while. But now it seems, it seems video game devs want you to start tipping them i really got a good laugh at this one so subscribe to the channel we're going to cover a ridiculous take from a former blizzard boss who suggests players should be able to tip devs after finishing a game you know you you, you blew your load on the game the game was absolutely amazing throw your tips at the dev oh, the, when price points are 70 to 100 dollars for a game i have nothing left in my pocket to tip them i have nothing especially when it's a it's not just one developer it's a whole team of developers you know there are some places where if you tip the waitress uh, or waiter and it goes through the entirety of the restaurant it also tips the cooks that's a different story but we're talking where they want you to tip across the board for the company that put out a game that has been well well invested by investment firms in a lot of cases especially in the triple a industry this isn't anything really new when it does come down to it if you look at itch.io itch.io is a good site if you want to play some games and you have nothing you have no idea they do what you know what's called game jams every once in a while and these games sometimes go up but they're generally free to download and they usually have a tip jar if you want to add a tip to them so that is there and that's the same thing here on youtube i make a video if you guys want to leave a tip at the door that's great or if you come to a live stream and have my my actual reaction to you leaving a tip or a donation or whatever you want to call it on the videos so i muchly appreciate it but i don't ask for you guys to watch these videos i don't ask for anyone to pay up front to watch these videos yeah i do a couple members only videos but those videos i generally wouldn't have done otherwise if i didn't feel that it was more for a member's uh genre or a member's idea for putting it out there most of my videos that i put out there are a general audience try to encapsulate everyone out there but this is this is just ridiculous the former blizzard president said most will dislike the idea of course everyone dislikes this idea it's absolutely stupid especially coming from a blizzard you know, a former blizzard employee former blizzard president mike yarba has suggested that players should be able to tip developers after completing a game speaking on x uh, when I beat the game, there are, uh, there are some that just leave me in awe of how amazing the experience was. I've often wondered, I wish I could give these folks another $10 or $20 because it was worth more than the initial $70. They didn't try to nickel and dime me every second. Well, that's the thing. All the games out there now, especially ones with high monetization uh, where you're getting cosmetics, they're nickel and diming you now they are they really are so why in the world would people like this idea the nickel and dime the lettuce tomato mustard and ketchup for the games the dlcs that are out there absolutely don't warrant you to tip across the board tipping is it, it, it's more of a western culture thing i i know over in european and in a lot of other places they don't do tipping they actually pay the employees well they pay a lot of them well so in this case you're going to tip the developer and they're going to what what are they going to do with that it's also the way tipping is built in for like a waiter or a waitress they only claim 10 percent of that on their taxes in the first place so how does that even work when it goes to a developer there's stores out there right now where they have they're trying to go all digital have no employees in the store and you pick up the item you pay at the door and leave and they're asking for you to tip at the checkout god i hate these things no i don't want a bag no i don't want to make a donation yes i'm sure pay with card wait what you know some of the responses especially the one from lunar archivist mike yarba 
Great idea, the door should swing both ways though. If I am thoroughly underwhelmed by a game after playing through it because the overall experience or the ending sucked, I should be able to demand a partial or complete refund from the developers for wasting my time. I actually felt this way a little bit with uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, however the ending did make up for that. Me playing through Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I was really underwhelmed by it because the script for the sages uh, in the game, I felt they were very lazily slapped together. A couple of the levels were very repetitive in that sense. You're always doing the same four or five tasks over again, just in a different mode. They just did it as a cookie cutter. And to me, it felt like it was underwhelming overall because the game did cost $70 and up. Up here in Canada, it's even more. It's absolutely something that I just felt like I was kind of robbed a little bit. The experience of the whole entire game as a whole, I still thought was worth it. But when you have that repetitiveness and you just fall flat on it, maybe I should be able to say, hey, listen, I didn't like the way the game plays. Maybe you can give me a bit of a discount or you get this with open box products. You return them and people will buy them up uh, at a discounted price. So they do make their money back on that. But when it's a piece of software that hundreds of people have maybe touched, who do you really tip? Where does the tip go? What does the tip really do? And of course, it is nothing but the tip. Now, when it comes to this type of monetization or tipping when it, with video games, that was the whole purpose of a DLC or cosmetic items was so that you could buy up a cosmetic item that technically goes back to the distributor or, or the developer in this case, and they, they work it out properly. But now they're asking for, for you to leave something more for a game that made you feel much better overall i guess you had a great experience and you want to do something more well that's where gamers generally will return to your brand and that's where right now we're seeing those brands get completely ruined the games that were built up on something that gamers really did like especially myself I wanted to go back and play. Like if I buy a Mario game and I want to play another Mario game, I return and play the next Mario game out there. But when it comes down to games overall, if you start shoehorning in all these extra things that never were part of the game in the first place, it's just now they're building up an IP, especially what we're seeing now with like Laura Croft, where they're completely rewriting the script of Tomb Raider just for today's modern audience. That's not what made the game great. What made the game great was it was a fun, enticing game. It was something with puzzle solving. It was something that you ran around as Laura Croft. There was fun, unique things you can do in there, like the swan dive, which which is more of a meme overall but that's what the game was no one wants us to be shoehorned into the game and then now with developers saying okay we we gave you a great game we 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 checked all our check marks give us a tip now give us something extra because that's the way things are going to work for video games now no no they're not adding cosmetics, keep the cosmetics there. Don't go up and crazy with the cosmetics because when you overcharge for cosmetics, like we've seen with many games that were $10, $15 for a costume, it's absolutely ridiculous. Don't do a day one DLC like with Star Wars Outlaws. That's going to just come back negatively right in something later down the line. Make a DLC based on the sales of the game originally. Don't turn around and make a DLC because you've cut it out of the game and say, no, you need to pay us more. This is where video games are now. And it's absolutely ridiculous the way the monetization is. They need to tone it down quite a lot. But I know there's the pressures, shareholders, everyone saying, oh, we gotta make more, 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 more. No, your slice of the pie is already there. Keep the pie the way it is and people are still going to spend money. People are still going to buy new games because of word of mouth, because people like the games. Not because you add in all these extra things and you want something extra for nothing. Anyway, I'm your Proud Canadian Phoenix in the Shadow. I am signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.